So, sometimes it can happen that your work, when sent to the journal, is already rejected without peer review. The reasons for that can be, it's not in the scope of the journal. The area is not of interest currently anymore, so if you are presenting all work, old work from the early works of ICPMS, let's say describing Mount Horlicks, then this is not in the scope of the journal anymore, and then it will be rejected. Or the work is too specialized, I've mentioned that already. Sometimes it can happen if you are using ICPMS and you have investigated, let's say, 20 elements in a matrix. You can then publish a paper with element one, another paper with element two, a third paper with element three, and so on and so on. This is fragmentation of your work. Please produce a publication which gives all the results for a specific matrix. Avoid fragmentation. It will be rejected if the referees would see that you have published already a part of the same study somewhere else. The work is not novel. Yet this means the article does not report any improvement of known knowledge. It's, a, it's really a reason for re rejection. Or sometimes also we are receiving papers which are poor in scientific content or poorly prepared so weak figures are wrong or of uh, bad quality. Yeah, so even in the peer review process, papers can become rejected. But that deal never ever happens, May. Huh? Not, Not off. Once per ten years. Yeah, May. <laughs> okay, so the peer review process. Uh, if you have not provided names for referees, the editor will choose the best referees for your work. But you can have a chance to propose referees which are relevant for your work. And the referees have the specialist knowledge, so they can assess your work. And the editor is also those selecting those referees which are reacting very fast, so they are very rapidly, the speed of the referees is very high. And they also assess the referees concerning their reliability and their accuracy. The referee's role is they should comment only on your sites. This is not always happens. And they should make recommendations. So they, they should give you some comments how to improve your work. They should not criticize your work. Maybe using scientific arguments only. And then the editor's role is to interpret the referee reports and then to make a final decision. So concerning the submission, you should, if you send your work to JAWS, provide a cover letter. This cover letter should declare the submitted papers. Read the journal guidelines before you send your submission to the journals. If you send it electronically, please read the instructions first. Sometimes we receive incomplete files. That means you have forgotten the figures and you have forgotten the cover letter or you have not mentioned uh, the ethical uh, statements of your work. You have to provide ethical uh, statements whenever you are working with human beings or with animals. Yeah? So have that in mind because it will not uh, result in the rejection of the paper, but this publication can be delayed significantly. Okay, the cover letter should include information of a um, brief summary of your work, should give a statement about the novelty of your work, and sometimes possible implications with other referees. Sometimes groups are competing. Yeah? And if you know you are competing with someone else in the field and he might become your referee, please write in the letter, it's better not to choose this or that referee because of the personal conflict. You can suggest dates for referees. Provide more than two. Yeah, so that we can choose. And select, oh sorry, I forgot to mention that, select the article type. 
So you should say, I wanted to have it published as a full paper, technical law, and so on and so on. I will come back to that in a minute. So then you will receive comments from the editor or the reviewer. And this is the revision. Address and response to all referee comments. This is essential. Otherwise, it will again delay the publication of your paper. Give detailed reason if you disagree with one of the comments of the referee. So you need to have a discussion why this referee comment does not hold true for your work. And sure answers are included in the manuscript and itemize all changes. This is so that the editor can see that you have changed your manuscript and have made all the revisions asked for by the reference. Um, consider all referee comments. Learn from their expertise and experience. Consider appeal if appropriate and remember that it only means this particular article will not be published in this journal. Everybody, even me, have had bad experience that some of the referees said this work is not global enough or you have to do major revisions. Don't worry. Read the uh, comments uh, uh, probably, perform major revisions, change some of your experiments, and then you can resubmit your paper uh, after a, a major revision. Yeah, after acceptance, what will happen? It will be edited by a team of professional staff. They will polish and correct the language. So that's not the duty of the referees to do that, but it's the duty of the editorial team. Check meaning and understanding of your paper, and sometimes they have queries and ask questions about references and content. So please answer all the queries of the editor. Then, after a while, you will receive the proofs. And proofreading is a very important task. If you oversee some printing errors, or if there are wrong numbers given in your tables, they will be printed. So you, and not the editorial office, is responsible for the final result of your paper. Have that in mind. And then, usually, my experience with JAS is typically a week after I send the proofs to the journal, my paper is published already on the internet. This is an important information for you if you wanted to choose a journal with a high speed of publication. So, typically for JAS, we publish typically 100 days or even less than 100 days uh, after receiving the first manuscript. So that's very fast. Okay, some more tips at the end. So some of these tips are from my own experience. Again, choose the right journal. Choose jazz. Ensure your work has high novelty. Provide a clear statement of the novelty and impact of your paper. Read and follow guidelines for authors. Please, please read them first. This is very often forgot. Perform a thorough literature search. Keep the language simple, short sentences. The longer a sentence is getting, the more difficult it is to understand. Proofread before submission. Sometimes it's better to give your article to a colleague because you are getting blind for your own mistakes. Yeah? And they will immediately see printing errors, much better than you can do. Suggest the referees and all revisions address all referee comments. Okay, and finally I wanted to go through a few more slides giving you good arguments why you should publish your work in JAMS. JAMS is the top journal for fundamentals in elemental analysis, in analytical spectroscopy, and isotope ratio determinations. So you have been convinced by Rebecca that this is an important journal. Well, I've published more than six or eight papers in JAMS about isotope ratio measurement. That's fantastic. 
Jazz does have a high impact factor. There's another good reason why to choose jazz. It's the chairs. They care. We started with John Ottowein in 1986, Les Epton, Dan Barry Shah, Joe Caruso, and Gary Yvetje. And since 2008, it was Dan of Goethe. So he's still the chairman of Charles. And uh, I have to give his very best regards to all of you. It was a pity that, due to personal reasons, he doesn't have the chance to join us here. But you will see all the video we have taken today. It is eight hours and more video he has to see after this meeting. And you will see a short version leave in the internet. So, okay. Uh, this is another picture I have taken yesterday morning. Isn't that beautiful, this city? It is the actual store, and this is a port for Rebecca to the shopping area. Yeah. <laughs> the shopping area is this way. <laughs> so if you see that door, you know you are right. And this is the east gate of Simon Square. This is another good reason why to choose jazz. I've never seen such an active, you have to look on this side here, such a very dynamic and active board like this. This was, I asked Rebecca to dance for us, and she did it. I have a movie, but you have to pay for it. <laughs> okay, this is another good reason why you should use jazz as your journal. First of all, we have a long tradition, 25 years of experience. We <coughs> provide different types of articles, communications, food papers, technical notes, critical reviews, tutorial reviews, and perspective articles. You will find all these information in the internet. Um, there are some types of articles, the critical review, the tutorial review, and the perspective articles, and for these article types, you need an invitation from the review editor. So if you wanted, if you wanted to write a review, a perspective, or a tutorial review, please send me a short message with the title, with the short abstract, with a list of authors, and with the deliverable date, so that we know that you will have your paper ready, let's say, in a year from now. I have a list with about 60 different topics which had been reserved already to authors. But with analytical sciences, we have many more topics where we can publish reviews. Yeah? OK. Um, and there's another good reason. It is the high visibility of jars and the highlighting your work on front covers. So we, the referees propose the best work in the, the journal, and so we offer the authors to create their own front cover. And highlighting your work on the front cover is like getting a Nobel Prize. <laughs> okay, we are also highlighting your work with hot articles. For instance, this is a paper presented uh, today by Martin Rosano. It was highlighted in the issue 12 in 2010. And uh, we also highlight the most read articles in September. This, for instance, was an, an article which was of, most often accessed via the internet. So uh, we will highlight your work properly. And now I'm coming to the end. Again, you see here on this side, it's a really beautiful city. So take some more time to go to the nice places in the city. Uh, it's a pity we have to leave already tomorrow, most of us, uh, to go to Ch Chengdu, but definitely we'll come back. Thank you very much for your attention.